Hi everyone, I'm here to do my In My Mailbox vlog for this week. In My Mailbox is hosted by Christy over at Story Siren where we show what we got this week. I didn't do a vlog last week because I just got out of the hospital. Um, I'm still recovering from my surgery but everything went well and I seem to re be recovering um, pretty nicely so I'm really happy with that. Um, I have a bunch of books that I got last week and this week so let's get started. Um, first up, most of the books I got on my Kindle. Um, the first four of them are books that I got from the publisher that I review for in the Netherlands. Um, the first one is Here Where the Sunbeams Are Green, um, which is also called Upside Down in the Jungle, I think. Um, it's by Helen Phillips. It sounds really, really cute. Um, it's a middle grade, I think, as is the next one, which is called Bye For Now by Kathleen Churchyard. Um, I have not heard anything about these books, but they sounded cute, so I'm really looking forward to reading them. Then I have Prim Improper by Deidre Sullivan, I hope I say that right, um, which is also a middle grade. And the last one I got is Manhattan Mystery by John J. Bonk, which I'm actually reading right now and it's really, really good. Um, it's about a girl who overhears two criminals talking about a jewel theft, and um, when she realizes that the jewels from Cleopatra were stolen. Um, she thinks she knows who did it and stuff and it's just, I really really like it. So next I got a couple of books from Nat Galley. First up I got Velveteen by Daniel Marks, um, who you may know as Daniel Marks YA here on YouTube. He has a channel, he's fabulous and I was so so excited when I saw his book up on Nat Galley so I requested it and I'm so so excited to be approved for it so I downloaded it right away so excited for that book you can't even imagine and i just need to clean up my tbr and just go ahead and read it because it sounds so so good the next book i got off net galley is the immortal rules by julie kagua and i'm sure everyone has heard about this book by now um but it's a dystopian story combined with a vampire it sounds really really good the cover looks amazing um, I really like the first two books in the Iron Fae series, which was the first series she wrote. Really, really like those. Um, so I'm really looking forward to reading that book, and I hope to get to that within the next two weeks. I also got Yesterday by C.K. Kelly Martin, and it looks like this, and it sounded really, really good. So um, I'm really looking forward to reading this one as well. And that's it for the Net Gaelic titles and other titles that I got for review, but I did get a couple of free books from Amazon. Um, the first one is Descended by Blood by Angeline Case, and I've wanted to read this one for a really long time, but I never picked it up. So when I saw it was free on Amazon, I just went ahead and got it. I also got Dead Radiance by T.J. Ayer, which is the first book in the Valkyrie series. Um, this one was free as well, it sounded really, really good. Um, heard a couple of things about it on Twitter, and they were all positive, so I'm really looking forward to reading this one. And, like I said, it was free, so you can't go wrong with a free book. So, looking forward to reading this one as well. And that's everything that I got on my Kindle this week and last week. Um, I do have one physical copy that I got in. I got Variant by Robinson Wells, which is really, really shiny. Um, I requested this one on NetGalley and I got approved, but the title was Archive before I could get it on my Kindle. Um, so I bought a paperback copy because I was really, really excited for the book anyway. And it came in last week and it's so shiny. It has a holographic cover. And I hear a lot of things about this book and everyone around me seems to be raving about it. So I'm really looking forward to reading it. Um, I'm not too keen on the holographic cover even though it's really, really shiny. Um, it just makes the people on the cover a little blurry. Um, but it's a dystopian novel so it should be good and I'm really looking forward to reading it. And that's everything that I got in my mailbox this week. Um, let me know in the comments below what you got in your mailbox this week and I'll talk to you guys later.